Good. That's a good toss right there. It's back to the academy, the academy baseball school for Mike Timlin, a pro pitcher teaching kids how to pitch like a pro. Um, baseball, you know, it's just not, I don't think it's as big as when I was growing up. You know, it's more hockey oriented, you know, up here. So it's, it's nice to, you know, spread a little baseball up here. They're just trying to reinstill, you know, some of the things that we teach during the day and during the course of the week. And that gives them a chance to see that, that the pros do it exactly the same way we're, we're trying to teach them. What it does is promotes a lot of the kids to understand that uh, if they work on the skills that we teach them here, that they have the potential to become major league ball players. And having these guys out just reinforces that. Reinforcing Timlin's clout was this ground out to clinch the 1992 World Series. And since then, not much worth celebrating. The highlight this year was having bone chips removed from his pitching elbow. My status right now, I'm throwing about 100% uh, off the mound. Um, I'm taking today off. Yesterday, I threw uh, off the mound. I'll take today off. Uh, tomorrow, I'll probably throw a simulated game. Um, if not tomorrow, maybe Friday. And then... Uh, Hopefully I'll go on a rehab assignment if, uh, if that's what they would like to do. Just like an infielder, ready to go in all directions. Mike Huff has also been hurting all season with injuries to his knee, quad muscle and hamstring, just to name three. But the most painful part has been watching loss after loss from the bench. I think, unfortunately, we sometimes have put the cart ahead of the horse this year, thinking that we can do things and get back into the race without going about and just winning one ball game. I mean, we've talked about putting together streaks, and when you do that, you look at the tough pitchers, and sometimes you forget about the pitchers, maybe like last night, that we should have beaten uh, that we didn't. It gets frustrating to the point where, you know, you just you just want to throw, throw your hands down, you know, and just let it go. But you have to, uh, you know, you got to keep your chin up and, you know, you, Go get them tomorrow. I mean, that's you know, it's the old cliche, but you know, that's what you have to do. Rob Sinclair for Sportsline.